Hey, what's up, tubers? Uh, we're going to be starting on the uh, uh, heat exchangers today. Try to get our exhaust work done. Uh, the the whole they're a mess. Let me just, let me just show them to you. All right, here's the here's one heat exchanger. You can see somebody's done a a bit of a repair. <laughs> I guess you call it. Um, it looks like they've they've taken a couple of the the uh, retainers off of the CV axles and s stuffed them in a hole here in the exhaust and then they took uh, looks like uh, JB Weld or something like that you know and kind of gobbed in around it. I need to get that taken care of because not only is it just going to be a mess you know to have to work around um, it's restricting my exhaust here. It's supposed to look like that, obviously. So, let's see if we can start getting this thing cleaned up. This is the, uh, just gonna show you this. I'm gonna take this off, but this comes up through the engine, and your fan has an electric fan at the top and has a piece of ductwork, just a, a hose that comes down here, and it just pushes air through here. And of course the air that's inside of this is going to be hot and it's going to blow right out the back side here. So that's, you don't get a lot of heat out of it like you would a, a normal car that was water cooled. But uh, you get a little heat out of it. I want all the heat I can get. So let's get to it. Alright guys, I started by taking uh, some of the duct work off here. And you can see, man this stuff is really, really nasty. We're going to have to... Scrape it all down. Get rid of all this garbage. I don't want to go over it. My angle grinder got a little wire wheel on that. Oh. Then we're going to do the same thing. Now this is so rotten right here. You need to seal that. That's where your air flows. And if you don't seal that, it's going to be drawing in fumes from the engine compartment. It'll draw them in through here and then push it right out with what's supposed to be the fresh air. We don't want that. So my welder, I don't think I'm going to be able to weld this because it's so thin and rotten. But we'll see what we can do about it. I, I don't know. But this definitely has to be taken care of. This is a mess right here. So I've got my work cut out for me. Alright, tubers. Uh, made a little bit of progress on this. I can get it flipped around here where you can see. Uh, that's our hole right there. We're going to fix that. This is what I dug out of it. It was, uh, it looked like it was put in there with some JB Weld, but at any rate, I want to see if we can get it fixed up. Got to do some, got to do some welding here. But it'll be uh, it'll be better in the end. Did get a lot of grease knocked off of it, so we'll see if we can make a a uh, decent set of heat exchangers here. Big old hole though. I'm not really sure what happened to that. The uh, the other part of the set didn't have any rust or anything, and this side's intact. It's all good. But at any rate, it needs to be fixed, so we'll fix it. Alright guys, uh, I'm going to try to get uh, something done with this big huge hole here. That hole is about, I'd say, a fat quarter inch across, so I don't want to try to feel that. I'd be here all night and I'd use more than a roll of wire probably. So what I've got is just a little piece of, it's just a very mild steel. And I'm just going to try to shape it around this socket and the vise getting the uh, shape of it so it'll, it'll wrap around there I don't want anything hanging down inside so I'm just going to try to wrap the outside I don't want to restrict these aren't the best flowing uh, exhaust uh, manifolds in the world anyway I don't want to restrict it any more than it already is so I'm going to I'm going to continue shaping this Roll it around that socket until I get the length right and the curvature right, and then uh, we're going to weld it up. Hey, tubers. I uh, wanted to address a little question I had in my own head. Uh, I got to thinking that 
those of you out there who are watching or maybe wondering, why is he doing all that? You know, why doesn't he just go get a new one or whatever? There's two reasons for that. If they made a new one, I couldn't afford it. And second of all, they don't make them. So if, even if they made them and I could afford them, I couldn't just go buy one. So I want to catch you up on the process here, what's going on. I've made a little, little bit of headway with it, and uh, I'm going to show you guys what's, what's going on here. We use my flashlight to get a little better lighting in here. You can see I've still got some uh, work to do at, at feeling it on the back side. I want to really get a really good uh, solid uh, weld in here. Plus, I don't want all of the uh, pits and holes and everything. And I want to flow out really, really good. Um, I've made a lot of progress there so far but it's still it, there's more work to be done um, on this portion is a little bit thin so I'm trying to weld and build this up so it doesn't crack and break whenever I mount my header get it bolted on uh, this this is the portion of the this is actually the piece that I made to put on it uh, got a little bit of welding done on it On this side you see I'm gonna have a lot if I don't fix this I'm gonna have a lot of a uh, lot of leaking so I've got to do that big big undertaking with this not not really hard it's just a lot of time involved and I definitely I need to get some more metal welded into here and ground off I want to you see how thin it is that will break so I'm going to carry on some more welding and grinding and so on and so forth. So I'll catch you guys in just a few. All right, tubers. Uh, got a little bit of a spot weld there. I have to clean up. I was just feeling I uh, had a little crack I needed to fill up. Uh, other than that, this is just about done. I'm going to try to grind that uh, little spot weld out of there, and then I'm going to start with uh, uh, some more work, trying to get them sealed up. So I'll get this ground out, and we'll carry on. Well, right, guys, we've made some progress on one of our heat exchangers here. Still have uh, a little bit of patchwork to do here. The the this. This material was so soft I could not weld anywhere around it. It was just uh, just too thin, so we're going to fix that. But any at any rate, I've got uh, most of the crusty stuff off of it. My daughter helped me out here. I let her uh, help me spray paint. Very cool. This is one I'm still uh, still trying to get some of the crap off of it. It's getting closer getting closer I've got to clean it up hopefully we can get a little little primer on it I've had my son he decided to come in and uh, cut his old pop some kindling up so it's been a pretty active day in the garage and my lovely wife came out to see me she's working on her uh, blanket that she's making here by the fire gives her a little time away from the from the Rugrats, they're in there hanging out with Papa also.